Um, and I, I think you addressed exactly some of the questions that and concerns that we're seeing here as we as we lower the diets um, down in crude protein, particularly here where we're using some byproducts like dry distillers grains. We'll have diets and finishing um, where we may not have uh, soybean meal at all, and so to keep those other ratios in mind beyond just the straight amino acid ratios, I think are really important and, and very valuable for our audience to, to think about. Yes, indeed. And as you touch on the uh, feeding DDGS, um, I would like to just um, briefly mention that also in, uh, in a high protein uh, DDGS, which we have currently, are, are very high in crude protein, higher than before, and also the concentration of branching amino acids higher. So very interesting. I, again, maybe more than six, seven years ago or so, we, we have really in very good discussion with nutritionists uh, uh, and from Canada and also from, from Europe uh, on the, what is the, you know, optimum tryptophan to lysine ratios if we um, are feeding the pigs with diet containing more than 30% DDGS. And uh, we, we see that when we, you know, we, uh, we, we see that there is um, improved performance if we increase the tryptophan to lysine ratios at least 19 or higher before, you know, because the ratio uh, in the past used to be quite low, as low as sometimes 16, 17%, uh, depends. Um, and it's also because um, the branching amino acid, especially the leucine, Excel leucine can cause the branching amino acid antagonism or imbalance, and this directly impact on the feed intake. And so we need to um, again uh, check the, the the ratios of leucine to lysine. So um, roughly, if the leucine to lysine ratio is like higher than 140, 150 percent, and we should be uh, careful. Uh, and, and adjust the isoleucine to lysine ratios. This is also one of the early uh, study. Uh, we try to answer why is there the difference in isoleucine ratios? Some are using 55, 54, and some are 60. And so, so we see that with the um, use of uh, spirit drying blood cells, which is very high in, in, uh, in, in leucine content. So by adding the ratios isoleucine to from 50 to 60 uh, help to increase feed intake um, uh, of the pigs and also you know, maintain performance. And it's also, there is uh, interaction with this branch amino acid with tryptophan because they are competing uh, in the, to get into the, uh, from the blood to the brain. And so if we boost the tryptophan a bit in the diet and that also it, it helps the pigs to eat uh, you know, to avoid reducing feed intake. So these are the very interesting. Um, we, uh, more recent research has been done also the, at some university in, in, in the United States and it's very current um, topics and we have um, a better understanding. Uh, this is uh, something which I, I'm very pleased about it.